Hi friends, it's Petra here with another Brimble Fox video and today I'm using a gorgeous Brimble Fox title and I'm starting off with tearing that paper with that amazing um, edge template and I use it quite a lot because it gives the perfect tear and I will tear some by hand later on but it is the perfect start when you want to have a beautiful torn paper uh, I'm using the March hip kit and I decided to create kind of a monotone uh, vintage looking layout so I'm using two papers and uh, I'm cutting out the labels on this one to use in my layout. So I decide to give the edges a bit of uh, color with my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And I want to fussy cut those gorgeous uh, black and white flowers. Well, they're not completely black and white because there is some color in that paper, but I will be giving them some color by hand later on. And I start by cutting out that entire edge to use in my layout later. So I'm marking the center of my page because I want to create a layout in the center of my page and that torn paper will be placed in the middle. And now I'm using the template again just to create a bit of an oval shape. And I don't want the paper to be going from edge to edge, so I will shorten it a bit. And I'm also marking the top and the bottom part of that piece of paper because I'm going to do some mixed media now. And I decide I want to give some black paint strokes on that paper and I'm using a white brush and simply uh, picking up little bits of paint and then simply lightly brush over your paper and here and there give some extra pressure so you can guide it on your own. And I always like that effect very much so And you won't believe it, but that little bottle of black paint, I haven't used it in a while. Uh, I think it's about 15 years old. <laughs> so I have used black inks uh, instead of that acrylic paint, but it still works fine. So did some splattering, as you see, while I was blubbing uh, away. And now I'm backing my photo with the same design paper as that torn piece. Oh, it isn't the same paper. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but also a paper from the March kit.
So here is that title and I adore this title. I don't know how Marek does it, but she comes up with the most beautiful, beautiful uh, perspectives. And this is maybe one of my favorite titles, that little heart with photo. I love it. And that um, grayish color that it has, I think it's the best. But I'm slightly biased, perhaps. <laughs> um, so I have arranged the tags behind my photo and when I think that that looks okay uh, I punch a hole in all of them with my big bite but I thought well why bother to put it in screen and I decide to hand color the uh, flowers to give them uh, a bit of color and to match it a bit with the tags that uh, I'm using so also incorporating a touch of pink and I have dropped a bit of vintage photo ink on the left side. Perhaps you can see it. I will point it out later. <coughs> so I will see there. So I will be adding some color over there and on the bottom simply to cover up my oops. Um, and in the end, I thought it worked out perfectly. So. Be at ease with your oops. That's not something I'm really good at, but I'm trying. <laughs> so still seeing if I'm liking that uh, way of putting the tags. And what I do, I simply put some double-sided tape on my photo and pick up the first tag and just try to glue them on the back of my photo before I'm adhering everything down. So using a bit of foam tape there just to give it some elevation and it might be subtle but I always like to use some foam tape here and there just to give some more dimension to your layout. So I'm using two different um, pieces of paper snips. And one is the number five and the other one is the number nine. And I will be linking everything in the description box so you can check it out and have easy access to the shop. And the white paper snip, I also give a bit of vintage photo uh, edges to match the rest of the layout. And that's it. I hope you like it. I hope you got some inspiration out of it. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.